Hello, everybody! Well, have Soul Kaneki, and as you can probably tell by the opening screen, we will be playing Oxenfree. This is actually going to be in my very first playthrough of the game. But, okay, that's kind of strange. I wonder why it's doing that. Let's see how this game is. Uh, go into settings. Skybound Insiders. Okay. I guess we just press play. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. <coughs> Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do you read me? Yeah, um... Sorry. Well, that's fascinating. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, hey, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math works. Uh, he's just a guy? What else would he be? No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. Oh! You get a cool new sibling, living right oh. in your house. Sharing I can move your around. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato. Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Um, polio. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah. But I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need the girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out? Nope. Alex, we're not taking the pic until you get in here. I'm gonna be a jerk. I can wait all night. Well, maybe not all night, but until the boat docks. Okay, I guess I'm going to be forced to take the picture.
there. Great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. It's, uh, to the left of the dial? 88.3. If we miss it, I'll never hear the end of it from her. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Okay. And this is supposed to be a horror game? Question mark? Smell that clean air, <coughs> boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex? You can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with... No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case, whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. When the flag is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say, running. Oh. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's <coughs> like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is an improvement. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. It would seem so. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Um, maybe we can do the walking tour later. Like, 
after three beers. <laughs> okay, that's true. We will be here all night. Um. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's Hello, here. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Really? That's kind of gross. Yeah, sex is gross. So disgusting. Wow. Man, get a room. You the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a... Hmm. Okay. The way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper uh, acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that'll no. do it then. Oh, God, of course you did. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time, and I'm not leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes... Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal. <gasps> what? Nutty. What's going on? Should I be scared? Uh, I hate nature. Stupid birds with their stupid flying and pooping everywhere. <laughs> hey, is this like a part of the base? Okay. This far out on the beach? I honestly don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. But remember, you can pull out your little radio and tune to that tour station if you want. But really, just be cool, alright, Alex? Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing. Oh, Jonas is just nervous about moving in with a strange girl in a strange town and fitting in and every stupid cliche you can think of. I'm not... It's not what it was, really. I just like to take the time to make proper introductions, that's all. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, cool, I can actually run. I was wondering how I was doing that. Uh, there we go. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Oh, okay. so it's his car. We started there. a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's. Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. 
It's a trip, right? Yeah, you'd think he'd be a little old to need a babysitter, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, if I don't have anyone to burp me, it becomes a real issue. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah, um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Um, uh, I did. Ryan invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the picture now. You see, Jonas, normally, this is like... Oh, boy. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Oh, yeah, no, no! Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed oh, to be a party, wait. right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey! We could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a... we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lie... Alex, where are you going? Yeah, we just got started. Oh, just, you know, looking around. We're not going to play until you come back. But I don't care. I'm going to explore the map. Where's this gate go to? Uh, kitten, we're playing a game here. Be social and come play. I don't want to be social and come play. In fact, that's the absolute opposite of Okay, so, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the... Alex! We can't keep going unless you're with us. I don't care. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Ren, I don't really feel like playing, if that's all right. Oh, come on! You're pretty much standing in the prayer circle. I'll ease you in with the softball. I'm far from okay. it. Okay, Mary Screw Kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun! It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically, so he's excluded. Why, thank you. Earth to Alex. Hey, you can't just walk away. I it's your turn. Can. Yeah, we just got started. Oh, no? Watch me. Alex, come on. Come back. Yeah, Alex, it's not the same without you. <laughs> Bloody hell. 
so Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? If she'll ever pick somebody. Okay, she's officially relinquished her picking rights by being an idiot and not saying anything. Well, uh... Um, Nona, you're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa. I actually find this game If you had to get annoying. a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. She didn't ask you. I'd get, like, a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, I already fine said with that it, I wasn't really. gonna play this game. Well, with you as four. fine as you can be anyway, right? <laughs> I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't. I don't really need to know the situation before. It's. It's none of my business. It is your business. Your family now. So, let's hear it out. Why did your parents get a divorce, Alex? Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You but know why? Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. I've been ready for that for a over, while. Man, I won, and to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying, this is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I oh, would. I'm, I'm very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Sounds like a prison to me. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, I'll push you oh, over. Oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... So, the he cave. That weird What's your carnival? bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? I'm going with 8. I think Ren knows his caves. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's true. Kind of. Thanks for uh not ratting me out to Nona during the uh the game. I didn't think you would, but you know, you could've, and you didn't, so thanks. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those oh, heck no. look like brownies. Brown... Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is gonna do it, too. Right? Jonas? Mikomita, Sukomita? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. 
Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. So just pull out your radio. Any day. While we're young, please. Seriously, Alex, just pull out your radio and tune it. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. It must be, uh, like... My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but... You know, if you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Fascinating. Uh... It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I called it. No, there's... I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat. Or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a fresh water one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the... How? I wasn't even in the shot! Just how? Just had to doink around a bit. Jonas! Jonas! And this is supposed to be a horror game?
that sooner. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? about a dog. Sure, we'll do. Didn't you hear yeah. me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. It's crazy. No, it's uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming what from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me. I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look. If it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did do you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a... Like a rainbow, or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? It doesn't really look like a trick of light, Jonas. It looks like someone's science fair project just floating there. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Well, if I did... Neat. I finally know what it feels like to catch a big trout. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Uh... I... I think...
can't even, like, what is, what? Okay. You all right? Uh, what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here. No, I'm way ahead of you. There's gotta be some kind of emergency station, or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it, but if this is some sort of prank... Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> oh, grow up. Oh, come on! You know that's amazing! Dick Harden, and they named a tower after him? It's all right, it's a soaker. You'll get it later. What do you think happened to them? They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. Hmm. The cleaning guy should probably lock this before he leaves. His stupidity is our gain. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Yeah, well, I'm glad you find this sort of thing interesting, because I find it interminable. You find it terminal? Interminable. Inter- it means boring. Oh. 
fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> Uh, SOS? Mayday, Mayday, um, CQD? CQD? Come quick, danger. Nani? It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. Well, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys want more of Oxen Free, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Uh, good night, everyone.